Welcome to Q&A with Mike. I'm Mike Burnett, Director of Gemology here at Gem Shopping, and today we're going to talk about precious metals. One of the questions I get most are what metals are used in jewelry? There's a variety of different metals used in jewelry, but three of them are considered precious. We have gold, we have silver, and we have platinum. Those are the three noble metals and the ones that are most often used in fine jewelry. So let's talk about gold. There are essentially three gold colors that you're going to see. Gold is one of the two metals that has color to it when it's found naturally. Gold is yellow by nature, copper is pink or rose by nature, all of the other metals are going to be in the silver or white category. So if we think about gold being yellow, how do we make it white or how do we make it rose? Those are going to be what we call alloys. Gold itself is soft by nature. So we use alloys to strengthen the metal, make it a little bit harder and a little bit easier to wear, make it longer lasting. But those alloys can also add color to it. So let's talk about purity for a second. Gold itself in the purest form is 24 karat. Pure gold, 24 karat is 0.999 fine. Then we have 18 karat, which is 75% or 750. 14 karat, which is considered 58% pure. So we have 42% of something else. What's the something else? Well, it depends on what we're trying to achieve. We've got yellow gold, we've got white gold, and we've got rose gold. So if yellow's by nature, how do we make it white or how do we make it rose? It's the alloys that we mix it with. Let's talk about yellow gold. Yellow, 58% pure on 14 karat. So what are the alloys that we use? We often use copper. We'll use silver or zinc to keep it in the yellow coloration. With copper, it's about 25% of the mix. So you've got 58% yellow gold, you've got 25% copper, and you've got a little bit of silver. The silver and the copper will actually strengthen the yellow, but keep that yellowish color. Let's go to rose for a second. In rose's case, as you can imagine, we're still going to have the 58% yellow gold, but what we're going to do is we're going to add more copper. If we're trying to achieve a pinker color, the rose gold, you're actually going to use a little more of the copper of it, up to 33%, because copper has that naturally pink color. Then you'll use a little bit of silver to harden it up a little bit. Then we get to white gold. If you look at white gold, we're trying to change the color completely. We'll use the 58% gold, we'll use a little less copper, and then we'll introduce silver, zinc, and now with white gold, we'll introduce nickel as well. Those are three metals, the silver, the zinc, and the nickel that have a white coloration, so it adds to the white gold. Is any one more expensive than any other? When it comes to gold, not really. Gold's gonna be relatively expensive. You've got copper, you've got silver, you've got zinc and nickel. So there'll be small differences in the price on the wholesale side, but to a consumer, you'll typically see the price is gonna be the same. No matter what your preference is as far as precious metal goes, you can't go wrong. This has been Q&A with Mike. If you have any questions that you'd like answered, please forward them to us and we'll be glad to answer them for you. Thank you.